Hello everybody, uh, this is Sir John Cool here, and this is a video on how I'm making my new Star Trek strip. First of all, this is going to be part four. It's sort of like a Sunday strip, a page in a Sunday strip, or one page in a comic book, but it's done sideways, if you've seen some of my uh, Star Trek work. Now, everything is done from uh, actual photographs, every piece of machinery, everything you see is actually the way it's supposed to be, unless I change it for some reason. Because what I do is I go find a photograph if I want to uh, put something in. First person I'm going to be drawing is Dr. McCoy. So I will type in um, O R I G I N A L Star Trek. S T A R T. Oops, should be a space in there. T R E K. And then I'll put in McCoy. Uh, McCoy. M C C O why and then you will have to punch in images and there we see all the Dr. McCoy if I were looking for a um, certain expression or something I would put that into like uh, I want him to look startled or confused like maybe that picture right there now that looks like kind of a good one I think I'll pop that right in there this is right after uh, Spock turns into a vampire because planet Lunar uh, mystically attacks the Enterprise and all sorts of uh, devilish ghoulish things are happening. Okay, so what I will do is first of all I want to save this picture so I will go over here and I will click on save picture as. Okay, so now my next step is to decide what size I want this image to be. Now I'll look see how it looks on the paper. Uh, you want your turn your brightness up on your computer a little bit like that so you can see it better. Okay, there's Dr. McCoy, the size I wanted him and uh, where I wanted him on the paper. What I do now is I will take a pen. I don't pencil this. Now I found that uh, gel ink works real good for comic art. Problem with it is, is that when you pencil underneath it and then try to erase over gel art, it gets smudges all over the place. It's, it doesn't work very well. So what I do is I do not pencil it. And if I do, I wouldn't use a gel gel pen on it. Um, but even when you use regular pens, you'll find that your pencil underneath it breaks up the ink or the marker or whatever you're using when you erase it. So that's why you want to really pencil really lightly if you can. But even then, it breaks the paper. Your best way to go, if you can do it, is to not pencil because that's you know really clean. Especially if you have a lot of detail line in your art like mine. I'm using a .07 gel pen, Pentel. These are really good pens for comic artwork. I really like these pens, but I say the big thing is they'll smear. You can't erase with them. Okay, so you're going to kind of have to get set on not penciling if you're going to use this kind of a gel ink to do comic book art with. But it works real nice. Now, what I will do is I will go in and I will draw this. I won't draw it all the way. I'll draw, you know, kind of a contour and some reference points. See how you do that? You go right along the edge of the picture. Now you need a steady hand for this, okay, that's true. And you'll need to practice it a little bit. And most people, most artists, will be really afraid of this. And they'll be really afraid of it because uh, they'll see it as being really hard to do, that they make a mistake and the whole thing's shot. But I, I wouldn't look at it that way. I would uh, just look at it that with practice, you can do it pretty well. But like anything, you have to practice it. Okay, and some pictures are easier than other pictures. Some pictures you'll keep looking at them and looking at them, and it'll be real hard for you to see where to put this line. This picture uh, is relatively easy because you can see the lines pretty good. I mean, no picture when you're going to do a likeness like this is easy necessarily. It's very hard to get likenesses, especially the smaller that you draw, the harder it is to get a likeness. A bigger picture, it's, it's easier to get a, a, a likeness of somebody that you can see what it is. The smaller you draw it, the harder it is to, uh, to get a likeness. Guys that can draw small are pretty good. So,
yeah as they say practice makes perfect and it's kind of the outline like I said I'm doing here and you could work just on the contour I mean if I just put this in as a total contour picture this would look pretty good and be pretty good comic book art I mean I wouldn't have to deal detail it the way I do like you know I was talking about previously but I, I just I don't know I like doing it that way you don't see that as much in the comic books because it's very difficult to do highly detailed art like I say is really hard to do with comic books when you're doing ink because you know the ink as soon as you try to erase it, it just goes all over the place you know especially this gel ink you know so you have to be pretty precise in what you're doing I won't say I never make a mistake or that I don't correct it with a little paint I, I like to use black I like to use black and uh, and white paint for corrections I'll use a little correction fluid but so my stuff is actually kind of all painted in a way to some extent not all of it some of it sometimes if you don't know what it is you kind of have to guess and this angle is kind of hard I, I suggest that you uh, that you uh, try this flat get it get a light from underneath it uh, could be just any kind of a light with a picture if you want but it's kind of hard to draw up like an angle like this if you put the it down farther like this on the table like it's a piece of paper it'll, it'll work easier for you but due to certain time constraints and this that and the other thing this is the way I will work and you can see that does look like a, a outline of Dr. McCoy now when you fill this in with detail on the blacks and whatnot this will look quite a bit like him and it'll be a pretty cool picture and as you can see you get a pretty good depiction of uh, Dr. McCoy sort of a cross between the original TV series and maybe a little bit like uh, from the original TV or the original movie this will look pretty good when I'm done with it and uh, that's pretty much how you want to do it this is going to be kind of a dramatic scene because Dr. McCoy is going to be saying ah uh, no Spock get back because Spock has just been transformed into a vampire and he wants to attack an easy victim which would be Dr. McCoy and Captain Kirk is also in the briefing room and it sort of goes from there and you can look at the next drip part four and you can see how that plays out